Here's a crazy hard problem from Einstein's theory of relativity. Classically, if you have a 10 meter pole and you're running towards a five meter barn, it will be impossible to close both doors of the barns. The theory of relativity though is really strange. Imagine that they're a really good runner and they're running towards the barn at 0.9 the speed of light. In the barn frame of reference the pole will experience length contraction and it could close both doors easily. In the frame of reference of the pole it is the barn that is moving towards it at 90% of the speed of light and it's the barn that experiences length contraction making it seemingly impossible to close both doors. Length will contract as it's moving at a faster speed and we can calculate that using the length contraction equation. So this will be equal to 10 multiplied by the square root of 1 minus 0.9c all of its square divided by c squared which is equal to 4.36 meters. So the pole has actually contracted to this length and in the reference frame of the barn it could easily fit and we could close and then open both doors simultaneously with the pole inside of the barn. So let's say that the front of the pole is going to enter at t is equal to zero seconds. Then the back of the pole is going to enter at a time which is equal to 4.36 divided by the speed which is equal to 0.9 times the speed of light, 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus eight seconds. Now, if the front of the pole has entered at zero, then it will exit at a time t, which is equal to the length of the barn, which remember it's five meters in this reference frame. So it's gonna be five divided by the speed, which is gonna be 0.9c, which is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the power of minus eight seconds. We know that we could close the two doors and then open them up really quickly with a pole inside because the time at which the back enters is before the time the front of the pole exits. Let's imagine what we would be seeing in the frame of reference of the pole. We will be completely stationary and the barn will be coming towards us at 0.9 the speed of light. Because of that the barn will be contracted and the exact amount can be found by the length contraction formula. Plugging in the numbers we're going to get that the length of the barn will have reduced to 2.18 meters. There is a seeming paradox here. In the frame of reference of the barn we can fit the pole inside of the barn. However in the frame of reference of the pole this is seemingly impossible. But hang on a minute the laws of physics should be the same in all frames of reference according to Einstein. How can we resolve this paradox? Let's investigate this further by repeating exactly the same calculations. However in the frame of reference of the barn which is now only 2.18 meters long and it's traveling towards this pole at 0.9 the speed of light. In that frame of reference the front of the pole will enter the time t prime is equal to zero however the back of the pole will enter the time t prime which will be given by the distance over the time so it's going to be given by 10 divided by 0.9c approximately 3.70 times 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. Front on the other hand will exit after a time t primed which will just be equal to 2.18 over 0.9c which is equal to 8.07 times 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds. Notice how strange this is. In this frame of reference the front exits before the back enters. And here is the solution to our paradox. In the reference frame of the barn we were able to send a signal and both doors could close down and then go back up 
simultaneously. Things are not necessarily simultaneous in different frames of references. In order to check that, we need to use the Lorentz transformations. If the closing of the doors in this frame of reference occurred when the back of the pole entered, i.e. at 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds, we can use the Lorentz transformations to figure out when did that occur for this coordinate and for that coordinate. So let's start off with the time at which the front gate closes. So the front gate will close at a time t primed, which will be equal to gamma t minus vx over c squared. This is just the standard Lorentz transformation. Because we've centered our coordinate system here, this will just then be equal to t is equal to gamma t. And this is just equal to 3.7 times 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. If we apply the same Lorentz transformation for the coordinate x is equal to 5, we're going to get that t prime will be equal to gamma t minus vx over c squared, which is equal to the gamma factor, which is around 2.29 multiplied by t, which in this case was 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 8, take away 0.9c, multiplied by 5, our coordinate, divide that by c squared, and plug it into a calculator, we're going to get a value of around 2.29 times 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds. Just think about what this means. The time that the back door closes is significantly before before the front door closes. In other words, as the barn is moving towards the pole, the back door closes momentarily and then opens up immediately after. And when the back of the pole enters the barn, the front door closes. So the closing of the doors that occur simultaneously in one frame of reference does not occur simultaneously in the other frame of reference and our paradox is resolved. If you have enjoyed this video, you will definitely love the next one which shows you how classical kinetic energy is merely a relativistic approximation. So go ahead and click this video right over here.